With climate change, there's no longer a season for severe weather, and the threat is always there. When it comes to tornadoes, there are two different types of alerts, a watch and a warning. A watch is all the elements are present. Uh, warning is uh, everything is coming together to the point that it might, it might happen. And if you, um, when it's happening, that's, that's when, the, when we had the event. Rodriguez gives an advice because there is a general misconception with tornadoes. When we get all this warning, the first thing that we do here in the Midwest is actually go outside and see where, this, where the things are coming. The, the outdoor sirens actually bring people out more than they actually uh, bring people into shelter. Students have differing opinions whether they would go outside or take over in a tornado event. No, I would prefer to go inside. Yeah, that's what I've done my whole life. I've grown up here. Probably not, just for safety reasons. If I know it's dangerous, I'm not going to go near it. I would want to look at it first, just to see. But if it's under safe conditions. Um, yeah, that's kind of how you die, though. Yeah, that's like where you get into dangerous territory. Quite honestly, I would stand outside, but that's just because I'm Midwestern. In addition to the sirens, there are other ways to get warnings. Text messages, phone alerts, and weather radios. So next time you hear this, be prepared and don't go outside. In Macomb, reporting for News 3, I'm Marcos Brock.